And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare. And in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to our latest software for transferring WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone. This is going to be our official tutorial on how to use WhatsApper that works on iOS versions 9 through 13 and Android versions 7 through 10. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. So first things first, make sure that you download WhatsApper from the Play Store open the app and give it the proper permissions and then once you've done so just go ahead and click on the start button to move forward and then from here make sure that you have an otg cable this is going to be a cable with two different ends such as a usb-c to lightning cable so that the usb-c end can connect to your android device and the lightning end can connect to your iphone you can get a cable like this from your local best buy your local target and you can even just buy one easily on amazon or even in the box when you purchase a current generation iPhone, it should already be there. And the cable should look a lot like this, and the connection between the two phones should look just like this. So don't be afraid to connect one phone to the other. And in case you don't have an OTG cable, and then don't worry, you can always access a desktop version through mobile trends. I just open up the WhatsApp or app on your phone and on the bottom, tap on try the desktop version. And then it's going to take you to the download page. Just click on download, and then it's going to ask for your email so they can go ahead and send you the download link. Enter your email and send it through. And then go back to your computer and check your email. And then click on the one from mobile trends and the download link will be right there for you. Just click on download and once installed, you'll be able to follow the steps through WhatsApp transfer if you are on desktop. And once they're properly connected to each other, confirm with the app that, uh, that you have an OTG cable. And then afterwards, it's going to show you a quick video for how to back up your WhatsApp data, but I'm going to walk you through it anyway. To do so, I just open up WhatsApp on your phone and then click on the triple dots on the upper right corner. Tap on settings, tap on chats, and then tap on chat backup. Tap on backup and just wait for it to finish. And once it's done, you can continue forth from here. And then tap on completed to return to WhatsApper. And WhatsApper will then detect if there are any backups. And if there aren't any, then the app won't progress any further. But if the backup was made successfully and it detects it, then it is going to take you right into the next step for you to be able to enter your phone number from there. And then just confirm what country you register your number to, as well as the region. Click on next, and then you will receive a verification code, and you should automatically log out of your WhatsApp account from there. Do not try to log back in. And normally, you would get around six chances in total to receive a verification code from WhatsApp, three text codes and three voice codes per day. And the more frequently that you request a code, the longer it'll take for you to be able to receive it. So do try to not spam this option. And then the button will turn green and you can just go ahead and verify this. And the parsing of the WhatsApp backup will then begin and then just wait for it to finish from there. And then start to connect your iPhone and begin the transfer. And now on your iPhone, while both devices are connected to each other, unlock it and tap on trust. And then input your password on your Android phone. Tap on allow. And then click on start transfer and it's going to direct you to the purchase page to purchase the permission to use the app. And you can choose the one-time purchase option that will let you transfer files to up to five iPhones. Or you can just choose the transfer 20 messages from a single chat for free if that is what you prefer to do. I do suggest just paying uh, the one-time fee as I'm sure that this necessity will come up more than just once and it is an affordable app after all. And once you've purchased it, uh, the transfer will immediately begin. So before the transfer, you do need to make sure that you're logged into WhatsApp on your iPhone through any phone number because after the transfer, uh, that data will be overwritten completely. And you also need to make sure that you turn off Find My iPhone by going into your iPhone settings, click on your name up top, click on find my and then tap on find my iPhone and turn it off. And if you have any issues using the app or have some compliments for it, then do make sure to feel free to leave your feedback through the option on the upper right corner. You just enter your email, choose the issue and then describe it for yourself. And then you'll be contacted by email to help you out. And some things that could prevent the app from working properly are a low battery on either device, since one could start charging the other since they are going to be connected hardwired to each other. So please make sure to charge both devices 100% to make sure that you avoid this issue completely. And now a lack of space could also be the problem. So do make sure that you free up some space on both devices. And now don't let the codes go to waste either. You do need to use your verification code between one to two times 
games and you only get six chances per day. And lastly, if you're still having issues, then you can always request a refund. We are going to have a link for that down in the description, of course. And that has been the full tutorial for our newest WhatsApp -er app. Now, hopefully this video was helpful to you. And if it was, go ahead and leave us a like, comment your thoughts and share the video. And most importantly, subscribe for more content just like this moving forward. So now, until next time, enjoy.